Hello and welcome back to the studio for a quick tip and today I'm talking about a varnishing. Now I did do another video um, about this um, if you want to click in the eye cards that's going to take you along there and we talked about satin varnish and how to make this if you haven't already got some. But I'm not talking about that today I'm talking about the matte varnish. Um, satin and matte has got uh, matting agents in them um, and they tend to settle over time. Now, I mentioned that when you get varnish, never, never shake it like this. Never shake it, always stir it. And, um, well, like, let me show you. I'm hoping this is settled, and I'm hoping you can see the difference on this. So let's, let's get the camera down to the board. <laughs> what I normally do is get one of these coffee stirrers. You can pick these up from um, any coffee shop, in fact, um, and, and, and you can reuse them as many times as you want. Um, I, I, I tend to wipe them clean and reuse them. Um, these lids tend to get a little bit stuck um, with the varnish that's on there. I'll show you a quick tip how to release those again. But if you open up, this happens to be matte, and I don't know if you can see, but it is a little bit semi-opaque in there, but I mean, there's a lot of matting agent in there um, to actually matte off this varnish. And that tends to settle down in the bottom of your varnish tub. So what you need to do is very, very gently, and I emphasize gently, is stir this like that. And you'll see it actually change a little bit of color as that matting agent lifts up from the base of the jar. And you'll see that you need to get that all mixed together lovely, trying to avoid the air bubbles. Air bubbles are the major thing with varnish. You, you need to minimize the amount of air bubbles you're gonna get in the varnish film when we come to varnish it. There we go. And the, the same is to be said about any satin varnish if you've got it. Again, that's got a matting uh, agent in it. Um, I've actually previously stirred this one. Um, but at every um, application, I suggest you actually stir the varnish there. Um, and as a matter of fact, I do actually do the the gloss as well. Um, there's no matting agent in there, but it's always handy just to give it a little stir just before you go to use it. And we will be talking about um, applying varnish in another quick tip. So don't remember, don't shake, always stir. Shake and not stirred, yes. So always remember that old James Bond, he has his cocktails shaken and not stirred. So in this case, it's important that you stir it and not shake it. My name is Clive from Clive Hart. Please press hashtag Clive Hart in the YouTube search bar and all my videos will pop up. Nice.